What's going on guys? Happy New Year here from Central Florida and Merry Christmas belated because of the fact that I've been gone. I flew out and went to Illinois. I was up in Champaign, Illinois and yesterday I flew back in through Chicago and it was snowing heavy up there. And this is what I arrived to. It's been raining, it's been dreary here, everything's wet. Uh, it was raining all last night and tonight, so. But we had a good time over there at the Country Club's clubhouse. We had a big New Year's Eve party, so we had a good time. You can see the Christmas tree. We're gonna, tomorrow I'll take everything down, take all the lights off, so we'll be done for the year until next year. But this is one of my uh, Christmas presents I got. I haven't even chance had to open it up because all I was doing is um, traveling and stuff, and there was really no reason for me to do it because I was up in Illinois, I wasn't even driving, so. Here we go, it's a Valentine one. I just got it ordered. As a matter of fact, the wife bought this for me because she knew I said I wanted a rare detector. I mentioned the Valentine one about a month or two ago. In reality, I had actually bought a, a used Escort Redline from a buddy of mine in the Z Club. Uh, he gave it to me on discount because he wanted to upgrade to a V1. So I got the best of both worlds. I got two amazing radar detectors. And this is gonna be the unboxing of this one here. Maybe I'll show you what the Escort has later, but for now, this is just gonna be the Valentine one. So it's a typical little box, nothing special. You can see the sides. That's it, you know, no, just basic stuff. So here we go, typical stuff. Like I said, I haven't even played with it yet because of the fact that I've been gone. So I haven't even installed it yet. So here we go, Valentine one, all bogeys. Contents, this is just, I guess, your booklet. It shows you what it comes with, how to mount it, blah, 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 boring stuff you didn't really come to see. Cool. Whatever, right? V1 connection. I didn't even buy that because I didn't really need the savvy or any of that stuff. I just didn't see that there was any point. So what do we got here? Take the foam off. Cool. And there it is. So we got this is the visor clip came out. It's metal. It's no, it's not like cheap junk. You can hear it. Good thing because I hate when they're just cheap. The plastic. This is obviously plastic. The actual housing, but the metal clip is nice. Um, here's your uh, coiled plug-in, woo, right? Um, here you go, this is actually just the one for the cigarette lighter. This is what I'll be using for now, I am going to hardwire it all. As soon as I can, I will have it hardwired into my 370C. This is actually going in my Z, so that's what it's for right now. And here's the kit for the hardwire kit. It will be getting done, trust me on this one. So here's the hardwire kit that comes with it. All right, straight wire kit in case um, you don't like the coils bouncing all over the place and you can actually run this around. This is the easy way to do it too. I'll probably use one or the other for now. Let's see, it comes with four suction cups, so extra suction cups. You can see it against my hand a little better. There we go, I'll put those right to back there, obviously. Plug's pretty cool. Pretty neat, pretty neat. Let's see if it has anything separate, nah. Oh well, no big deal. Cause I'll play with it later. I know I will. I'm that nerd. So this is gonna be the latest version because uh, we did order it from there. Here you go. I guess this is clips come off there. Valentine one powers up to begin with. All bogey modes, change modes, blah blah. And it's just pull off the tag. So and I'm doing it with one handed, so I'm just gonna spin it around this way. And here you go. It's not very heavy. My escort feels like it's actually a little bit more solid and heavy. I don't know why I would say that, but it feels that way. This top just obviously clips on and off because you can see it's on a sliding track kind of thing. But overall, it's pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is I'll uh, plug it in and have fun with it. I know my Escort uh, Redline is doing great because I was just driving around with it today. Man, the cops are out in force here on New Year's Day. You know, looking for speeders and drunks and stuff. My radar was going off. It actually picked up both bogeys, so I can't wait to see what this is going to do in comparison. And what I might actually do is I might put it on one side of the dash and one, and the other one on the other side of the dash, and see what picks up first, that kind of deal. Because I know you're not supposed to have them right next to each other. So, there you go. There was one of my big Christmas presents I got this year. I hope you guys had a great Christmas, and I hope you had a great New Year's. I was going to go ahead and wash the car today, one of my cars, and clean them all up and do another video, but you can see it was raining earlier today, and everything's just wet now. Uh, the car is just filthy. The car sat outside here for two weeks, so that's what happened. But yep, I hope you guys had a great time. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's 2014. The channel is expanding fast, and I'm very happy to see it expanding. So I will keep doing reviews, and I will keep following and answering any questions you guys have. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Take care. Later. All right, guys, I'm just going to show you what it looks like when it starts up straight out of the box. 
Um, I do have my Escort Red Line right next to it. This is not going to be a comparison test or anything like that because I know it bleeds over if you have them too close to each other. This is just to show you what it looked like for them when we're starting it up out of the box. All I've done is just connect it to the regular coiled wire right now, and that's all I have done. So here we go. Set up. I have not changed any settings. It's straight fresh out of the box. So here we go. And there you go. It already fits in there really nice and everything. I can't wait to use it. The reason I always wanted the Vita 1 is because it had a great reputation, a great name, and it also had the arrows, which I think are just the coolest thing in the world. Um, I've, I've had the red line on. I was just using it today. We were going back and forth from the mall and just uh, going out to dinner, and the cops were out like crazy here in, uh, for New Year's Day here in Central Florida. And man, the thing was going off, going bonkers. So I know this bad boy works. It was actually showing two different signals, and there was sure enough was two cops sitting there in the middle uh, where I was about to go over the bridge. And man, it spotted a mile away. So I know this works great. This will probably sit in the Honda most of the time, and then maybe on some long trips, I might have it both up there for testing. But here you go, there's the Valentine one. This is what I did the unboxing for. And this was my Christmas present for my wife. So she's a great wife. Thumbs up to her, amazing. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for a lot more videos. I'll, as soon as now that UPS season is over, I'll be making a lot more car videos again where I can actually wash the car and I'm not just exhausted on the weekends. All right, take care guys, later.